Hey everyone, how's it going? So, recovering from a flu here, but I thought I'd share with you 2019.8.5 Navigate on Autopilot without confirmation. So, to enable it, you just go to Autopilot setting and change it to enable at every start and then select confirmation lane change to off and you're all set. So here we're going to activate on um, Autopilot um, navigate on autopilot will be automatic and this works each time you have your destination set uh, on your navigation system and you can send it through your app or manually enter into your vehicle and we're going to take it slowly in the slow lane because this is the first time I am experiencing uh, using this uh, setting so we'll see how it does and I have to say, Autopilot, since the latest firmware 2019, it has dramatically improved the smoothness of its ability to stay within the lane. It doesn't have the phantom braking anymore, or at least very minimum. Um, it does happen occasionally, but not as severe as it's used to. And also, it doesn't freak out when vehicle or pulling out from the slow lane or merging into the highway. So here is a tight lane change and it does it very smoothly before this firmware update it would hesitate either slamming on the brake or accelerating really hard trying to get into position but as you saw there it doesn't freak out like it used to especially with that truck um, in that close proximity there was also another vehicle um, right behind my blind spot but uh, it was able to do it and here we're moving into another highway interchange no problem at all so it's doing all this on its own with no input for myself the thing that I learned from navigate on autopilot without lane change confirmation it turns on the signal for you first but you do have to show that your hand is on the steering wheel by putting weight on on the right side or the left side of the, the steering wheel it won't do it if you have no hands on the steering wheel again here I'm, I'm a little confused at first on whether what I was supposed to do but it looks like uh, just a slight tug on the steering wheel it will uh, complete the lane change for you or else you'd be sitting in that lane with the signal turned on um, like a crazy person with his music um, pumping up loud and not aware that his signal is on and what it does interestingly here on this on-ramp interchange it is trying to change lane to the left uh, it's gonna alert me in a little bit right here to ask me to put my hands on the steering wheel to change to the left lane and again at this point I'm trying to see what it does if I don't put my hand in the steering wheel so it won't complete the lane change it will just leave the signal on there's a parked car on the shoulder there I test the autopilot didn't freak out so yeah a little tug and it will change the lane automatically for you or you can just leave your hand on the steering wheel um, just to show that you have your hand on the steering wheel it will complete the lane change automatically for you uh, again you see the flashing light on the front display there uh, it's also giving me a audio alert saying that hey your signals on uh, put your hand on the steering wheel before I change lane for you so input from the driver side um, very minimum all you have to do is just put your hand on the steering wheel it doesn't have to be both hands as long as it indicates and in sense that you have some weight on the steering wheel it will complete the lane change so prior to this you actually had to um, either hit on the signal for it to complete the lane change when you're on navigate on autopilot or you pull back on the stock column the cruise control stock column on the model x or in the model 3 would be the drive column that you push down or, or um, push forward so even in this type of traffic um, autopilot works really well and as you continue to use it to the exit ramp and it will take you right off the exit ramp so here um, I'm just gonna use the stock to confirm the lane change and we'll
we'll see what it does even after the light and at this point in time it does stop at a red light um, but at a green light which I will be approaching I'm, I'm just predicting that it will be green light this time because I do see car moving and we'll see what it does at this tight intersection with the left turn so the lane marking actually will disappear after um, this interchange here there's marking out to turn left and does follow it but then it freaks out right here because there's no marking on the right side so it's very close to being a self-driving vehicle um, I have to say the improvement since last year just 12 months ago has been very dramatic and it's all software all the hardwares are there but I have to say I'm a lot more comfortable using navigate on autopilot and the lane change now works very flawlessly so kudos to Tesla for continue to improve their software um, I think it will be a matter of months before this vehicle will be able to drive itself um, primarily on the highway and we'll see how it does in local street I think that will be the next big step for Tesla hopefully you find this video helpful but we have to uh, let you know that definitely drive with both hands on the steering wheel we were just demonstrating on what happens if you don't have your hands on the steering wheel so with navigating autopilot it still is um, recommended that you put both hands on the steering wheel for it to work properly thanks for watching and remember if you're on the market for a model 3 srx and this video has helped you decide to make that purchase definitely check out the uh, referral link in the description of this video. If you order through that link, you will get free unlimited supercharging up to a thousand miles. And uh, we also get an equal opportunity to get that thousand miles of free unlimited supercharging. So I think that's fair. Um, otherwise, see you guys next time.
with on the line.